suffering from a debilitating disease are regaining their voices. They're finding it in music. Here's Sebastian Robertson. Can it be? At 57 years old, David Lyons is the young face in the group. These men and women share the same often debilitating condition. Well, the hardest part was really wrapping my head about head around what would happen in the future. 70, 70. Nearly 10 years ago, Lyons, a businessman turned school teacher, was diagnosed with Parkinson disease. When people think of Parkinson's, they probably think of tremors, but 89% of people with Parkinson's can struggle with communication. Samantha Ellen Derry is the founder of the Parkinson Voice Project in Richardson. She believes it's the only organization in the world using singing as a treatment. You see, difficulty speaking can be the first sign that something is wrong. I was working with kids teaching them math, and they would finally say, Mr. Lyons, I can't, I don't understand. And I thought, well, let me explain it again. And it, was, it wasn't the math they weren't understanding, it was me. There is no cure, but there can be improvement. Well, people with Parkinson's can make remarkable improvements in their speech. Lyons is proof you don't have to give in to a condition that can take so much. The choir is getting ready for a holiday concert, even though many never thought they could carry a note again. When I'm at the end of my life, I want them to be able to hear what I say to them. I don't want to have to whisper in the ear. I want them to hear me across the room. Parkinson's has changed his life forever, but he's fighting to make sure it doesn't take his voice. In Richardson, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News. It is amazing.